Hey everybody, I am Danny with Summer Sky Gardens. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to show you my uh, four top uh, favorite flowers to plant for the summer. So the four flowers that I wanted to talk to you about are Lantana, Zinnias, Cosmos, and of course my favorite, the Sunflower. So I really like all these flowers because number one, they're pretty. Number two, they tolerate our really long, hot, dry summers. So they're really excellent choices for the south, but even all you folks that are kind of more on the north side, y'all can definitely enjoy these as well. Um, they all tolerate poor soil conditions fairly well, and none of them require a ton of care. So if you're looking for something that's pretty and low maintenance and will last all summer, any of these make excellent choices. As always, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing so that I can see you here every time with me. And if you want more day-to-day -day inspiration, be sure to check me out on Instagram at Summer Sky Gardens. Okay, so let me go take you guys out front. Pretty much all these flowers uh, at my home I have planted out in the front. I have a few in the back, but the ones in my back are not quite blooming yet because I planted them later. The ones out front are uh, definitely in full bloom. So let me go show you and I'm gonna give you some different tips on how to get them planted, what kind of care they may or may not need over the summer and how you can enjoy them. Okay y'all, so the first flower that I wanted to show you is the sunflowers, uh, which is actually my favorite flower. And coincidentally, 2021 has been named the year of the sunflower. So why not plant you some sunflowers this summer? So a couple things about sunflowers. Uh, number one, they are an attraction for bees and birds. So if you're looking for something to feed the birds, keep them away from your vegetables, sunflowers are an excellent uh, flower to put in your vegetable garden. And then of course, once they're done blooming at the end of the season, you can harvest the seeds for yourself. Sunflowers, of course, like a lot of sun and they like pretty consistent water. Um, they can tolerate some drought, of course, a lot of heat and poor soil. So sunflowers don't need any fertilizer. In fact, if you fertilize them, then they'll grow big and bushy, but not have a lot of blooms. They do like a lot of compost when you plant. So just amend the soil with some compost when you sprinkle the seeds. And then after that, you can really leave them alone as far as feeding goes. And then another note about sunflowers, the taller varieties, if you have a lot of wind or if they're in a really um, open area, they may need to be staked so that they don't fall over. If they fall over, it's really hard to get them back up again and growing well. A fascinating thing about sunflowers is that the mature flowers will actually turn their face towards the sun. So you'll see in the morning, they'll be facing one direction and then by the afternoon, they'll be facing the other direction. It's pretty cool. So as you can see here, I have three different varieties that I just kind of mixed all together. Um, I really like these tiger's eye just because of the different colors, but all of the varieties I'm planning will all be listed below so that you can check them out for yourself. Okay, so another plant that I want to showcase, which I actually have right here next to the sunflowers, is the lantana. I have a Texas lantana here, which is um, has all of these really pretty blooms that are red, orange, and yellow. But you can get them in like an all yellow variety, all white, all red. Um, I think there's purple and pink, so whatever you like. Now, of course, these flowers are not for cutting. They're really just more for landscaping and decoration, but I'll tell you, these are a bee and butterfly magnet. So if you're looking for something for your pollinator garden or something to attract pollinators into your landscaping, lantanas are like a surefire way to go. 
They're super resistant to um, drought and heat, so they do great here in the south all throughout the summer. They are a little tender with the frost, so in the winter, um, if you get a couple of freezes, they may die back a little bit, but they'll grow back in the springtime just fine. Um, if it does snow, then you're probably going to lose them and have to replant them. But I'll tell you guys, so we had that really bad Texas storm uh, or winter storm here in Texas in March and mine died back all the way to the root. And you can see here how much they have grown since then. So as long as the root survives, they'll be fine and they will definitely flourish when the heat uh, comes. The only negative I have found with lantana is that they grow really fast and get really bushy and can be a little bit invasive. So you're gonna have to prune them pretty frequently to keep their shape. We keep you zinnias this is one of my favorite cut flowers for the summer um, these things grow so well over the long um, hot dry summers and they make excellent cut flowers and the beauty too is that the more that you cut them the more blooms they will produce now as far as fertilizing goes um, you really don't have to fertilize your zinnias if you want to um, you can come through and do it about once a month but if you don't they will be just fine and then for water, um, I usually just make sure they're getting about an inch of water once a week. Um, if I forget, they tend to do okay. I mean, you'll see them start to wilt and you can come through and water them. Um, but usually, you know, I'm in zone 9A and here, you know, we get enough rain sporadically over the summer that they do just fine. I wanted to show you is right here I have some of the Cosmos these are bright lights so there are a lot of uh, pretty oranges I also have some candy stripe which is a really pretty pink over on the other side of the yard um, Cosmos are probably one of the easiest flowers you're ever gonna grow um, you direct sow them um, or I mean you can you can transplant them and they do okay I prefer to direct sow them and they do good um, but they tolerate a lot of poor soil you don't have to fertilize, you don't have to trim them, you don't have to um, really keep up with their water. They do so good over long, hot, dry summers. They make pretty decent cut flowers. They'll last about a week in a vase in water. I don't typically um, cut them for arrangements um, just because I like um, the other flowers a little bit more. The only hiccup with Cosmos is that they will self-sow. 
So you can see they'll start to, once the blooms fade, they'll start to produce seeds very, very quickly. Um, if that's something you're looking for, then, you know, let them do it, but, and they'll come back next year. But if that's not something you're looking for, then you have to be really diligent on collecting the seeds or else be on a lookout in the spring when they start to pop up and pull them. Out of sand, reaching for the ground. that's all I have for today. I hope that was helpful or gave you some inspiration for some flowers to plant for the summertime. It is hot outside so I am gonna head back in and do some stuff indoors but I will catch you guys next time. Bye!